Hi there. Welcome to this tutorial on how to edit multiple trips at once. Let's take a look at the trips in this account. Now, sometimes we find ourselves with a lot of trips that are undefined, that all have a similar purpose or a similar client or something like that. Now the way that we typically would think about having to do this, for example, is that we might want to have to edit the purpose of each trip. Say this was sales calls, sales call. Well, all of these might be sales calls. So you'd have to go through one by one and set that. Additionally, these might be all to the same client. So we might have to go through and add a client and we'd have to set the trips to business. We might have to do all that by hand to every single trip in a big list. Well, there's actually a very easy way to do that to all the trips at one single time. And that is if we, if you hover your cursor over here by this plus sign and you look down below, there's kind of this really light gray um, circle that's underneath the plus sign. And if we click that, you'll notice that it turns red with a little check mark. And you'll also notice that as soon as I click one of them, this box appears right here, edit all check trips. So if I uncheck that, you'll see the box disappears because we don't have any trips checked. But I can check this, I can check all of these, okay? And what'll happen here is I can go through and check all the trips that I want. So let's say I wanted to edit these four trips and they all were gonna have similar information. I click this box and we get shown this little window of what information we wanna enter. And you can see that it says leave blank to ignore. So if all I wanted to do was set these trips to business, I could just click that button and hit apply to checked and you'll see that they all become business. Similarly, if I want them to all be personal, I can do that. Now I can also do more than that. So let's say they're all business trips. Let's say the purpose was sales calls and we might even have a client. Let's say there's a new client. We'll say something like that, okay? I can hit apply to checked and the browser will refresh. Anytime you add a client, the browser will have to refresh, but you'll notice that those four trips are all now for sales calls and there's a new client added there. So they all have this new client. So you can do that with as many trips as you want. You just gotta check them all. And then the other thing you can do, you can also delete trips, but be very careful with this. If you delete a trip, it's gone. So you don't get it back. You'll have to go and manually add that trip again yourself and you won't have any GPS data to back it up. Um, and for you can also lock the trips. But that's all there is to it. It's a really easy way to edit a whole bunch of trips all at one time. And you'll notice that while that you can't edit the destination or anything like that, that's because these are locations. Remember, there's a difference between the purpose, the client, the business setting, and what and the actual location. You're gonna have to edit the location separately, which is a reason why we, we have, again, to recommend this tutorial, our recommended tutorial. It's the one that shows up right when you open the tutorial section. Please watch this. This will help you set up your locations to automatically fill in your logs so that when you log in here, instead of saying all these addresses, they'll say the destinations you went to, or it will say the address because it's supposed to say the address. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.